Welcome to Kalamazoo, Michigan, Waldo Stadium, home to the Western Michigan Broncos, where we have a terrific matchup in store. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Ohio State Buckeyes, taking on a team from the MAC, the Western Michigan Broncos. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. The Buckeyes will kick it away first. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. So Western Michigan's will be in a hole thanks to that short return. And as the game evolves into an aerial circus, sometimes you find a superstar running back like this guy. And when you got this guy, you ride this guy. You give him the ball, you run the football, you find ways to continue to feed him because he just gets stronger and better as the game goes on. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. The Broncos get enough for the first down. I just love the play call. You're getting a fast player out in the open field, and it's enough to get you a first down. Now on first and 10 from the 26. He'll do it himself. Out to the 36-yard line after gaining 10 on that one. This quarterback is so dangerous, and it looked like the defense had him corralled. It looked like they were ready for him to keep the football, but that quarterback is just too good. He's like a water bug. So good, short area quickness, able to make guys miss, then go get the first. And the Broncos getting set on first and 10. Pulls it and fires to the left. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Well, the offense is trying to get a big-time playmaker the ball out in space quickly with the wide receiver screen, but the defense is having none of it. Now on second down. Back to throw. It's Wolf. Fires to the wide out. He's got it. Put it right on him. Sweet play, good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. And I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pick up, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. From the gun, running back on the move. He was running through tackles and picked up the first down and finally got knocked down. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. They're down to the 32-yard line on first and 10. They'll give it to the back. Not much there on the run. He gets one to the 31. Run game is good. Balance is good. Now, listen, if the run game isn't good, then you got to pass the football a little bit more. But sometimes you got to keep them honest, take them chunk by chunk. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. From the gun, the ground game. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him.
This opening drive, methodical, efficient. They'll snap it for the ninth time on third and short. Wide out in motion. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. And it's a great play by the defensive end. The most athletic players on the field play defensive end. Yes, you heard me, Jess, Reese, exactly what I said. Great get off, great job getting in the backfield, making the play. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. It is true as he puts three on the board. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before, and here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drive. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. Head coach has to be happy with that. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. From inside the 10, here he comes. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So the Ohio State Buckeyes offense will get the ball for the first time. And the spotlight in this game will undoubtedly be on these star wide receivers, David. I mean, they're featured, Reese. Like, these guys are going to touch the football a lot. These offenses are built to get them the football to make plays. We're in for a few catches today, Palmer. We sure are. When you can get open like these guys can, when you have the speed to take the top off of a defense, you know you're going to see a lot of explosive plays today. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. To the air, it's Howard. Quickly to the tight end. Still on his feet at the 45. He wasn't far from taking it to the house, and that'll be the final play of the first quarter. We've come to the end of the quarter, and Western Michigan is on top. We've played one. Before we move on, let's have a look at the stats. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. That last play is the kind of thing the offense can really build some momentum on, and now they've got it first and 10 outside the 40. He's going to pass. Grabbed behind the line, it's Smith. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. And you could tell they set up the screen action, but how about the ability to adjust, right? I see what the defense is giving me. You going to leave that open? Okay, I'm going to take it right now. Offense gets set for second down. Off the play fake. Using the quick game. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. The passing game continues to be prolific, and as much as Ohio State has been built on toughness, they've been built recently on the efficient passing game. I mean, so many good quarterbacks, and you know you're going to get great play calling, great offensive design. Ohio State offenses every year, year after year, the names change, but the production continues to be the same. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. To throw, it's Howard. He makes the connection. And it is well blocked as they pick up enough for a first down. And the Buckeyes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. Receiver wasn't ready for the throw, incomplete. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They'll leave it with him. Aird is trying to bash it forward. He got a couple. It's down at the 11.
Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. From the gun, the running back has it. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Buckeyes! And I like the running back's vision. He sees the hole, explodes through it. He knows where the goal line is, gets in the end zone, gets six. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and it was punctuated by an 11-yard run for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. Picks his way ahead, pick up of three, and gets it to the 20-yard line. Got three on first down at second and seven. He's got it again. On the move at the 30. They make the stop, but this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Looking to move it through the air. Caught in the backfield, it's Parker. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. They're trying to throw the wide receiver screen to pick up that first down, but the defense just too much speed getting to the ball carrier on that one. The hurry up now, second down, clock ticking. Dropping back, it's Wolf. Throwing right. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass D. Not seeing a lot of chemistry between the QB and his intended target on that play. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. It's complete. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Yeah, and you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understanding the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. Got his man. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game but I can throw it to him. I can try to create some space out wide, dump him the football, let him make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of it. On second down, just keeps firing. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Man, it didn't take long for the defense to get home on that play. You see them playing man coverage in the back end, slowing down the routes from the receivers and the rest of the offense. That forced the quarterback to have to hold on to it for just a split second longer, and they were able to get the sack. Got to get to the line quickly for this third down play. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. And it was worth going for a chunk play, but the long pass is incomplete. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. The Broncos will send out the punt unit. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Signals for the fair catch, and that's where they'll put it in play just outside the 20. 
The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. They've got some time to work with here, Jesse, and if they get a first down, they might really get aggressive. I'd be aggressive right out of the gate. I'd be throwing for a first down. If I get it, then it's pedal to the metal. I'm in that two-minute mode to try to score a touchdown or get a field goal. But I do think this is a situation where you also have to understand that I have the lead going into the half. I've got the momentum, so don't do anything stupid here. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking to pass. It's Howard. Makes the grab down the middle. They'll immediately call timeout. Well, the drag route's put in this playbook to fight against man-to-man -man coverage. So there you see the receiver using his speed, working his way across the field. He gets separation on the DB, trying to trail him, makes the catch, turns it upfield for the first. Wants to throw on third. Grab near the marker is Henderson. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. Third and short, and I guess the only thing they really took out of play in the shotgun was the quarterback sneak. Yeah, and that's kind of what I like to do, Reese. I mean, third and inches, I, I want to run the quarterback sneak, run the football, but this team fully comfortable throwing the football, and you see why. Easy pitch, easy catch, first down. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. The Buckeyes have it with a first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. Complete downfield. Oh, what a big play for this offense as they get it to the 33-yard line. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Clock still running. Almost certainly the last play of the half. They'll throw it on first down. The pass is incomplete, and there are two ticks remaining on the clock. Oh, and on defense, you just got to be able to finish that play. That defender had the football in his hands. He's just got to catch it. That should have been an interception. And as the clock is winding down here in the first half, they'll send out the field goal team. He'll have to generate power and some accuracy. A 50-yarder from the left hash. Kick is good, and the offense has three points to show for the drive. And they'll trot off to the locker room after the field goal to close the half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Fellas, you have been calling a great broadcast today from there in Kalamazoo. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside Waldo Stadium. And the Broncos will kick it away to crank up the second half. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. He'll start this third quarter with a run. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Back to throw. It's Howard. Quick strike complete. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. The Buckeye aerial attack continues to be prolific. You feel as if they're on the verge of scoring on any snap. 
Yeah, and it's such a good blend between such great offensive talent year after year after year that you see go to the draft, but also great play calling, great play design. They, they've always got it working, and you know this offense is always capable of hanging 40 points and making it look easy. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. He's looking to throw. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. It seemed like there may have been a miscommunication there between the QB and receiver, just not on the same page. Went up top on second down. That leaves him needing a yard here on third down. They'll try to power their way ahead. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective, and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position, it's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. The play action fake. Picked off. Takes it the other way. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. And defensive backs, you think, don't have good hands. The big fella shows it. How about that defensive back going up and getting the interception? Nice job breaking on the football. You say that's why you play defense, because you don't have hands? Yeah, <laughs> I beg to differ. The Western Michigan offense ready to go back to work. It has been a complete uphill struggle for both of these offenses, Jesse. It sure has. At this point, David, someone's just going to have to step up and make a play. Someone's got to break a tackle, make an incredible catch, and just give some life to this offense. Hey, whatever you can, whatever it takes. Don't worry about looking pretty. That's out the window. We've already looked really, really ugly. we got to find something that works to put some points on the board. And, guys, this can be a great time to look for a big play on second and inches. Give to the back. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. You got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. Or if I can quote the great Reese Davis, that was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting up field. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. The Broncos will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. He'll keep it himself. 
Finds a crease at the 20. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves the change for the first down. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he gets a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Out of the gun, the inside give. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 27-yard line. Well, guys, Ohio State has the lead here. They've done the work to build a nice cushion now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. And it's intercepted. A huge fourth quarter play for this defense. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Well, what a play by the defense there. Trailing here in the fourth quarter by one possession. Able to steal it away now and put their offense in position to at least go tie this game. Western Michigan has it back as they send the offense onto the field. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this as a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for in a position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And I think that might be an example of the running back maybe trying to do a little bit too much. Everybody wants to try to bounce the ball outside and hit the home run, but in college football at this level, you just need to do a better job taking what the defense gives you. And the running game has collapsed so far on this drive, and now it's third down. Going for the big play. Grabs it inside the 10. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. And that is a huge conversion on third and long for the offense. I think a lot of people thinking, hey, we're just going to try to get a couple of yards, help our kicker out here to kick a field goal. But instead, they get a massive play. And now all of a sudden, they're thinking touchdown here, first and goal. And they are looking to pull even with a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Tight end finds a soft spot. Touchdown, Broncos! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. A score for the big fella here. Why are tight ends so effective in the red zone? Well, these aren't the guys that are going to burn by you and go for 70 most of the time. But when you can use their big bodied frames, threaten them to run the football and be a blocker in the running game. And now you slip him in the secondary, make that big play. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point was good, and we are all tied up in the fourth. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it off with the score from the four. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That, that's a part of it, right? If you're going to be a great player, you got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Here's the handoff. The Buckeyes brought to the ground, but not before picking up the first. 
I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Crosses the 30 to the 31 and a six-yard pickup. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Touch pass on the run. They get him at the 42, but he picked up 10 there. The clock has stopped as we have reached the two-minute warning here in the ballgame. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. Looking downfield, it's Howard. Working that left side now. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. He's open on the right. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. Man, this quarterback is going to have to be deadly accurate here in this two-minute situation, right? And that's really what he's had to be all game long. He hasn't had a lot of yards because the coverage has just been so tight. He's had to be pinpoint perfect. It's been hard just to find completions, and no doubt that's going to be the same thing here in this two-minute drive. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. Yeah, and that was a simple play. Simple pitch and catch. It's an easy short route. It's a hitch. that They've thrown this 4,000 times to each other in practice, and you just need your receiver to step up and make that play. Line getting set on second down. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Quarterback on the move, still looking. At the 20, he's got space. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. You know, I think in this situation of the game, too, if I'm this guy, I'm thinking the same thing, right? I'm throwing and getting yards, and if it's not there, I'm going to take this game over myself with my legs. We're in the fourth quarter. We've got an opportunity, one possession down, to get back in this thing. I just got to do whatever I got to do to make that happen. The defense going to stop the clock with a the timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep Touchdown, Ohio State! They move on top here in the fourth. Man, and how about this offense in crunch time, doing what they do, getting six on the board. Now I turn to my defense right now and say, boys, we need one more stop. Go out there, get me one more. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. An 84-yard drive there, and he found his way to the end zone from the seven to cap it. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complimentary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. Wants to throw. It's Wolf. They're working that left side. 
Makes a catch and knock down. I think in this situation, two minutes trailing late, I think you got to be thrown to the sticks every time. I don't know if these short completions are going to get it done. You're just not going to have enough time to get down the field. So from a play calling standpoint, I think you want to think about being a little bit more aggressive. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. He's taking a deep shot. He's got it on the left. He was off to the races and maybe another step or two and he would have scored, but they get him at the 21-yard line. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. And they'll spike the ball to try to save as much time as they can. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. He's got an open man. The offense uses a timeout. 15 seconds left to play. When these wide receivers work the middle of the field, so much of this is feel. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. He just about put this game away if he'd been able to hold on to that one. Instead, it's second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. To the air. It's Wolf. Getting some heat. And he'll sail it way too far for everybody. Well, defense, you need one more play. You force that incompletion, and now you've got to find a way to keep the opponent out of the end zone to force this game into overtime. If they can get it into the end zone here, they can really turn up the heat in this one. Third and goal. Trying to get to him. And that one is right on target if his target was the first row. After that incompletion, there is so much pressure now on this quarterback to come up with a big play. They need to score a touchdown. They need to keep this drive alive to have any shot at winning this game. But it all comes down to this play right here down in the final period in a tight game and they will go for it on fourth and goal looking to throw he wants it all into the end zone it's caught for a touchdown no time left on the clock and they can tie it with the extra point or win it with two what an unbelievable play no time on the clock score now this place is going bananas and it's decision time. I could go for two here. Go for the win at home, crowd behind me, or kick the PAT and go into overtime. Big time pressure on this extra point. They need it for overtime. And that extra point was good and we are deadlocked here in the fourth. Four quarters, not enough to settle this one. We are headed to overtime. And these teams have played so well, back and forth, evenly contested game. How about a little free football, Jesse? Yeah, I love this, David. Free football and finding out which of these two teams is the most mature. Who can settle down now with the game on the line and make the big play? All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possession starting on the opponent's 25. And you want to play defense first because you want to know what you need. That's a key philosophical approach for most teams when it comes to overtime, David. Yeah, and remember the rule change a couple years ago, too, and, and the second overtime and two-point conversion. So all this stuff is situational-type football that you better have worked on throughout these weeks of the season. Option look, it's Howard. And he probably should have left that one with the back as he is just smashed in the backfield. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. To the air, it's Howard. Finds his tight end. 
And an absolutely fearless tackle. Giving up size, still got him on the turf. Third and long coming from the 27-yard line. You can make a field goal from here, just don't take a negative play. Throws toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. So they'll send out the field goal team to try to take the lead here in overtime. He got it. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. Down by a field goal and a touchdown will win it. Let's see what they've got on first down. Out of the gun, the give to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Got it behind the line. It's Parker. How about picking up tough yards like that as he gets to the 22? They've got a little work in front of them here on third down if they want to keep this drive alive and try to win it with a touchdown. Dropping back, it's Wolf. Pressure coming. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. And this field goal attempt might be their chance to save themselves. Defense will call a timeout. They got a peek at the formation. Want to make sure they're in the right call on this big down here in overtime. It's between the uprights and good. And this coach does realize that he still just lost the game, right? We play on first down here in the second overtime period. Now they'll run the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Running back searching for a hole. He is going nowhere. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. And guys, they really need to take advantage of this field position on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback is toast back at the 35. They'll try to strike first with a field goal in overtime. Timeout called by the defense as they want to make sure they avoid any hint of a mental lapse here in overtime. They'll try to put three on the board and take the lead in overtime. Good right down the boulevard. And with that, they've taken the lead. Down by three. It's their turn here in overtime. A touchdown will win it. Here's first down. Looking to throw, it's Howard. Shoots it to the left. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion?
Quick pass on the fly motion. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. Big third down here as they try to keep the drive alive. A touchdown will win it. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Defense will call a timeout. They got a peek at the formation. Want to make sure they're in the right call on this big down here in overtime. And he missed it. No good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. 